Hello viewers, it's Bobster again with his second video on Feed the Beast, and I was asked by a viewer, how do I have so much lava in the overworld? Well, the simple answer is, I make it, I'm going to show you how. So here we have our, well, it's our largest tank, but you can use any tank size you want. Um, just make sure it's complete. This behemoth holds over 6 million, um, well, liquid, basically. So, here's what you want to do. You want your inlet and outlets for this system quite close together, because the closer they are, the more efficient it works. But, to be honest, it doesn't make that much difference. So, we're going to use this as the outlet, and this as the inlet. So, from the outlet, you want, basically, a lava to, lava to come out. Ooh, seems like we've got a little bug. It'll draw when I put the next pipe in. There we are. And then we use a conductive pipe here. And here we put one of um, thermal expansions, magmatic engines. Now these things run on lava. Okay, and then around the corner here we are going to put another conductive pipe into a magma crucible. Okay, now this thing makes lava. And then out the top of the magma crucible we are going to put our pipe back into the tank. Now the first thing we've got to do is to change this here so the output is actually top, so that must be orange like that. Um, you could put it outside if you have it in a different position. Um, and then all we need to do is prime the system. Now, where can we get lava from? Hmm. Lava, lava, lava. I know. Yep. That's right. The nether. So, make a short trip to the nether. Come back with two or three buckets of lava. Um, we grab two in creative mode so I can kind of cheat a little. Let's bring back four. Didn't we get those? We didn't get those in creative mode. Dope. Oh, lag. Let's just take me out of creative mode. And go and get some lava again. Hmm. Okay, a little bit more tricky this time. Okay, so there we have our lava. And while we're here, what you also want to get is some netherrack. Yep, need some netherrack. Now you need quite a lot of netherrack, and you're gonna have to uh, come here daily to um, stock up on it. So, um, good old mining drill just tears this stuff apart. So, you wanna do this? Get a mining drill. Should be enough for this exercise. Now, the more magmatic engines you have, basically the more netherrack you need. So. Just take that into account. And back we are. Right, the only thing we need here is either a redstone engine or I'm going to use a, a gate uh, on here just to pump the lava back out again. So if I just set this to uh, liquid in tank and the energy pulser, then that will pump out lava. So, what we need to do is to prime our engine, a couple of buckets, in here we need to put a bunch of netherrack, and then all you've got to do then is sit back and wait. And what actually happens is the engine will power the magma crucible, it needs to get to a certain um, Minecraft jewel before it will start working. and. Um, this will then produce more lava than it actually takes to run one full cycle of this. So, uh, I don't think you want me to uh, want to watch a video of me just sat here looking at this going round and round and round. So I'll be back in a few minutes when it's um, got going and, and filled up, and I'll show you what happens. Right, so our magma crucible is now 
uh, approaching our first cycle. I've put some more lava in the engine uh, just to show you because it needs to fill up the engine and it needs to fill up this pipe before it will actually start collecting in the tank. So that is actually going to go straight back out again and fill up the pipe and then fill up the engine. So we need to wait for a couple more cycles. Unfortunately, it's quite slow. Now, what you can do is you can use more than one engine and you can use more than one magma crucible. The more you put on, the more efficient it runs, the more lava you produce. But really, on my um, multiplayer server, I actually use just one like this, very similar to this, just to keep it ticking over. And if I happen to use a, a lot of lava, then I will just put another uh, engine on here. So we can do that now, actually, while we're waiting. So if I just um, pop another engine here, and another magma crucible here. Connect that up there. Let's just change that. So that's orange. Put some other rack in. And then, oops, on cable. I need some more. Now, this is this is what not to do with cable. Um, never ever do that causes explosions. Uh, as you can see, the power is building up in a loop. That is a really really bad thing to do. Um, never do that. Ever. <laughs> this is just an example. I mean, you could um, do this slightly differently. And if I just pop that there like that, and that should get going as well. So we've now got two engines. It's got some lava in it. Two magma crucibles with netherrack. Now you can burn cobble. You can burn uh, gravel. I think it is. Uh, let's see, we've got another rack, cobble, stone, obsidian, uh, and redstone, which is the purpose of the magma crucible, but this won't work with that anyway. Um, that produces uh, uh, redstone liquid, liquid redstone, not lava, so only these produce lava. But nether rack is the, by far the most efficient. It only takes 4,000 Minecraft jewels to turn um, nether rack into. Uh, well, through a full cycle into lava. The rest of them, that's 20,000, 20,000, 20,000. So this will, will only work with netherrack. But with the um, nether, you've got a limited supply of it. So that's quite easy to do. So that's not got enough in there yet per cycle. So that should be hovering around the 4,000. As soon as that gets to 4,000, it will start cooking this netherrack. And all we need to do to get it going is, to make it lava that is, is for it to fill that pipe up in the engines. So let's just fill this engine up and then it won't take all the lava. Right, that's the cycle going through. That's full, that's full. So now it'll just fill the pipe up. So hopefully, if this reached 4,000 now, which it has, and it's cooking through, our next full cycle, we should have something in our tank. And from then on, it will increase and increase and increase and increase and keep going. And you've got a self-made supply of lava. The only thing you need to do is to go mining for 20 minutes a day in the nether, and bring back a few stacks of um, netherrack which you can pump in from a chest. Um, I'll show you how to do that actually because um, it's not straightforward as you think because gates don't react properly with thermal engine uh, machines. So if we take, uh, let's take a chest. 
just just yeah now we'll just change the sides here to the input sides so blue so input and then from here we need some transport parts which I don't think I have So two of those, two of those, and now if you use redstone engines this won't work because it will just pump the netherrack in, fill them up and then start spilling it in the overworld. So um, what you're going to need is a couple of gates and now I believe I used just standard iron gates uh, and this worked very well. So. We'll have oops, it's water. Good. Oh, box. There we go. And then another one there. And then on here we put our iron gate. And we set this to inventory empty. Uh, hang on, we need one at the other end. And some wire. Bring these up. And then these gates here, we set to inventory empty, red pipe signal. So inventory empty. Red pipe signal and then set this one here to red pipe signal. Gives it the redstone signal. Now if we take all this out, that sends a signal back and doesn't do anything because that needs to be um, needs to be the other gate type. Let's put the same one back. No. So red pipe signal on, send an energy pulser. So use um Got to call them. Then, um, Autarchic iron, or or, iron and or, or gates, and that which. <coughs> and as soon as it puts an item in here, it turns the signal off. Now, there'll always be a surplus a couple that come through, uh, but because it does it when they're empty. The surplus are fine. They'll never actually fill up. Um, so that that system there will trickle feed the netherrack into the magma crucibles. Now while we've been doing that, you can see that our pipes filled up. Our engines are both full, and we are now generating lava in our tank, free lava, and that will continue to grow, continue to grow. And like I said, the only thing you have to do with this in this case is keep feeding netherrack into your chest. And uh, you can do that once a day. And this will generate lava for you quite easily. Now, a word of warning, this was taken in Feed the Beast Beta. Um, there's been a lot of talk of this system on the forums. And it wouldn't surprise me somewhere along the line if the system is nerfed. And it doesn't do this because it literally generates free power for you because you can then burn the ge that through geotherms. Anyway, thanks for watching and I shall be back again at some time in the future. Bye.